let's talk mountain bike and let's talk tubeless wheels and tires. This bike has been sitting for three months and it has tubeless wheels and tires. And you can see it is completely flat. Right beside it, a bike that's been sitting an equal amount of time, but it has tubes. They're low. The air is low in this tire, but it still has air. This is completely bled out, and that happens on every single tubeless bike, tubeless setup that I have. Here's another one. It's been sitting for a few months. Look at that. It's low, but there's still air in this tire. If you like the idea of tubeless, maybe you don't need it, but you like it. There's a difference between need and like. Make sure it's something that your performance needs require because if not, if you're the average person and your bike sits up, the average person rides a trail every couple of months, that will go flat. Probably not a good fit for the average rider.